Hello everyone, here we talk about compound interest equivalent values. Quick review about compound interest situation. We have periodic interest rate, we have a uh, interest compounding period, and the periodic interest rate come from annual interest rate divided by number of compounding periods per year. And here we have future value formula, that's our original situation about compound interest. And the alternative way, finding present value formula, they are showing here. Example 1, a sum of $4,000 is due for payment three years from now. If money is worth 9%, compounded semi-annually, determine the equivalent value seven years from now or now. So we are saying the $4,000 right now is due three years from now. That means if you pay out this debt, you need to pay $4,000 three years from now. Now we are talking about finish this debt. If we do not pay that three years from now, we pay that seven years from now. How much it should be? That is called equivalent value. So in that case, that means we're going to add four years interest there. Since interest compounded semi-annually, we do have present value $4,000, we have interest rate 9%, semi-annually divided by two, and we have compounding period for four years, means eight half years. Put them in the formula, we're looking for future value. So here, positive exponent eight, and turn out, if we pay out this debt seven years from now, we should pay $5,688.40. Part B, if we pay it now, that means the $4,000 being considered as future value. And then the three years give us six compounding period, six half years. So we are looking for present value put the information into the formula properly, pay attention, the exponent is negative. We come out, if we pay the debt now, we should pay less, $3,071.58. Example two, Joanna plans to pay off a debt by payments of $1,600 one year from now, $1,800 18 months from now and the $2,000 30 months from now. Determine the single payment now that could settle the debt if money is worth 8% compounded quarterly. So here we have three debts planned to be paid together now, single payment. So they should be equivalent. And for those three debts being scheduled, we should find the equivalent value, how much it worth now, and then we add them together. Basically, we are using present value formula, since the deaths all happen in future and we want to pay them earlier. Interest compounded quarterly, so here we have periodic interest rate 8% divided by 4, and for each present value, we can see the compounding period. First one's one year, 12 months divided by three, three months a quarter. We are counting quarters. Second one, 18 months divided by three. Third one, 30 months divided by three. We all carry the original information and all the exponent negative because we are looking for paying the debt early, so we should pay less. Every number calculated, so the total one single equivalent payment should be $4,717.20. Example 3. Debt payments of $400 due 5 months ago, $600 due today, and $800 due in 9 months are to be combined into one payment due 3 months from today at 12% compounded monthly. What will be the size of this single payment? So here, from the question, our focal day should be 3 months from today we are going to settle one single payment to cover the three debts. So basically, we are counting every existing debt to this focal day. 
switch the value to equivalent value on the focal day. So five months ago for four hundred dollar, and our focal day is three months after, so that would give us the eight total time period eight six hundred dollar due today. We pay later three months after. So here we calculate the future value and the eight hundred dollar due in nine months in the future. And we pay three months from now. That means we pay six months earlier. So here exponent negative six. Two future values, one present value. Finish this calculation. We come out a single equivalent payment, one thousand eight hundred four dollar ninety six cents. Example four. Schedule the debt payments of one thousand dollar due today and two thousand dollar due one year from now. Are to be settled by a payment of fifteen hundred dollars three months from now, and a final payment eighteen months from now. Determine the size of the final payment if interest is ten percent compounded quarterly. In this situation, we can set focal day as eighteen months from now, and the final payment is X. Since we are looking for a final payment at eighteen months from now. In that case, we don't have to switch equivalent value about x. We just looking for x. We switch all the other values to this focal day. One thousand dollar due today. We're looking for eighteen months after equivalent value. That is the future value. Two thousand dollar due one year. So we're looking for six months after. It's also future value. These two deaths are replaced by fifteen hundred dollar and the final payment x. So the equation should be settled. Two are to be replaced by another two. Fifteen hundred dollar being scheduled three months from now. So we have fifteen months to the future focal time. That means fifteen divided by three give us compounding period quarters. Solving this equation will give us answer. The final payment should be fifteen hundred dollar, fifteen hundred sixty-three dollar eighty-three cents. Example five: May is due to make a payment one thousand dollar now. Instead, she has negotiated to make two equal payments one year and two years from now. Determine the size of the equal payment. If money is worth eight percent compounded quarterly, so we have one thousand dollar now that scheduled payment. But that moment she probably didn't have money, and then decided pay later, pay twice with the equal size, one one year later, and another one two years later. So we're looking for how much this equal sh size should be. So the two equivalent payments should be equal one thousand dollar, and we can let x represent the size of each equal payment, and today as a focal day. In that case, the two x's should be switched to equivalent value for now. So that means we are looking for present value. So here it is: one year, four quarters; another one, two year, eight quarters. So present value, two present value together should be one thousand dollar. And we solve this equation. We had this experience before, so we simply calculate the coefficients for each x, make it easier, and then we can put them together, and then we can solve x. Use one thousand divided by the coefficient in front of x, one point seven 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 three three six. We keep long decimal just to try to make sure our final answer will be accurate. So here's the answer: two equal size payment should be five hundred six two dollar sixty four cents. So these five examples all about equivalent value. So when we try to make plan or make a new plan. Compared to old plan, when you do the replacements, different plan they must be on the value-wise equivalent. See you next time.